Good evening, everyone. Good evening, teacher. How are you tonight? Fine. Very good. Very good, Carlos. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you, Omar? I'm fine, thanks. What about you? Um, I'm fine too. Thanks for asking. Okay. Good. Okay. Nice to see you here tonight, everyone. So uh, we are gonna start, but I'm trying to open the file here. Just wait for a little while. Okay, I think here we are. Okay, welcome everybody. How is everybody doing tonight? Ready? Ready to start? Yes, steady, yes, steady and go, right? Okay. There we are. We're gonna take the attendance now, okay? Please turn on your camera and remember to say present. Alejandra Vanessa Mora Rodriguez. Alejandra, are you there? Okay, Alexis Antonio Sandoval Morales. Alexis Antonio Sandoval Morales. Ana Cristina Chavarría Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Ana del Carmen Mejía Álvarez. Present teacher. Okay. Astrid Tatiana Jiménez Ramírez. Astrid, not yet. Okay. Vladimir Antonio Santos Valdivieso. No, Vladimir. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Present teacher. Okay. Giovanni Alexander Ramirez Sanchez. Present teacher. Okay. Jonathan Ernesto Fuentes Marín. No Jonathan tonight. Okay. Jose Atilio Mangandi Alvarado. Not yet. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramirez. No Juan Carlos yet. Okay. Karina Noemi Álvarez Mejía. Present. Okay. Carla Verónica Suria López. Present. Okay. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Present. Okay. Luis Roberto Mejía Menéndez. 
No, Luis. Okay. María Elena Romero de Galvez. Present teacher. Okay. Nancy Beto Rivera. Present teacher. Okay. Omar Alfredo Mozo Flores. Present teacher. Okay. Raquel Judith Vázquez de Córdoba. Present. Okay. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Present teacher. Ok. Auri Elena Segovia Rugamas. Present teacher. Ok. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Present. Okay. Félix Moisés Blanco Araniva. Present. Ok. Javier Adolfo Mendoza Tobar. Present teacher. Ok. Then welcome everybody um, again to your class. Right now we are gonna start. Let's read the first thing here, okay? The first thing is to read our objective for the class, for today's class, okay? So let me share the screen for you. And I need everybody read it, okay? Go first here. Okay, there we are. Can you see the objectives? Can you see the objectives? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Can you tell me what is the class objective for today? The script regular activity in the workplace and tell every day situation. Okay, very good. That's, that is the specific objective for the whole unit. Now, let's think about what are we going to learn today? What uh, is the topic for today? So let's read the class objective, please. Class objective. Participants will be able, able to make questions with how many and how much. Very good. So the topic for today is how to use how many and how much. Okay, those are expressions that means the same, but they have different uses. Okay, how many and how much. They mean the same, but with different situations. Okay. So let's see our agenda for today. What date is it today? May 26. May 26. Okay. Today is May the 26th of 2021. Okay. The class for today comprehends a little feedback as always, okay? A little feedback about the daily routines and timetables. That was the, the topic from yesterday, right? We're gonna see some things about time expressions. Then we're going to learn about how many and how much, okay? We are gonna have some activities in the little groups and then we are going to have a little chat, okay? Now, to start, to start, before starting everything, before thinking about the daily routines, this is a quote, quote, frase, okay? This is a quote. Una frase famosa, okay? Let's read it. It says, the brain, 
the brain is a wonderful organ. It starts working the moment you get up in the morning and does not stop until you get into the office. Okay, let's read it again. The brain, your brain, okay, is a wonderful organ. It starts working the moment you get up in the morning and does not stop until you get into the office. This is a quote from Robert Frost, okay? Robert Frost. Now, let's see, what does it mean? What does it mean, this, this phrase? What does Robert want to say? What do you think? What do you understand in this phrase? That means that um, that our brain never never take a break. Okay. Uh, always, always is is working. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Imagine, imagine your brain outside of the office, out of the office, it thinks I have to do this, I have to do that, I want to do this, I want to do that, I want this in this way, I want my curtains in this way, I want my house in this other way, and you are always thinking out of the office. But when you get into the office, it's a routine, right? It's a routine. And you have it just, okay, I start working, then I write a report, then I know what to do. It's like a robot working, okay? It's like a robot working. You, you don't think, okay, to just do, okay? Si ¿Sí se comprende? Do you understand the idea? So let's try to change that. That tratemos de cambiar eso, right? Let's try to change that. And let's be creative in our offices and our jobs, okay? There you go. You got it? Does someone want to give an opinion about this? Maria, what do you think? I think the brain is a like a machine when you get up is a star and think about many many things work family a day lunch breakfast dinner everything Correct. yeah you're right you're right maria elena and for women i think it is uh well in these days i think men and women works uh work the same right work the same Men try to collaborate at home, but before they didn't, before men didn't. So women were so charged in their brains, in their brains, okay? What do you think, Audi? I think that our brain uh, is working always. Um, and we are, always thinking in the lunch, the breakfast, the dinner, the laundry, um, the, or work in the office, and the, the children, or husband, and we need to take a break. We You're need right. take a break and, and calm down. Oh yes, you're right, you're right. We need to relax, right? But this is, uh, this is a thing that the companies want. They want our create creativity, right? They, they want we to be creative. So I think when you get to your office, don't stop thinking. No paren de pensar, create, okay? Overthinking your jobs because they think that we are robots, but we are not robots, okay? We have ideas. We want to create new processes, okay? 
So we can collaborate, okay, with our coworkers to find solutions to problems, okay? There you go. This is what it means. And thank you very much, Maria Elena and Aure, for um, participate. Thank you very much. Now let's start with the topic, okay? And let's think about this. What do you do in your job? What do you do in your job? What are the activities? Let's think about the vocabulary that we had in the last classes. What do you do in your job? Let's start. Carlos Eduard. Uh, okay. Someone was. I checked the report. Okay. The report. Very good. I check the report. Carlos Eduardo. Um, I call clients. I call clients. Uh huh. I, I check the clients. clients. Very good. I check email. Very good. Mm -hmm. I organize mirroring. Very good. Aha, uh -huh. did you see that? Z, Z. <laughs> Letter Z. Uh, yeah, we have. <laughs> Because I connected a new keyboard here. Well, it's not new. Oh, but it's not oh, new. New, but new computer. <laughs> no, no computer. Just the keyboard. <laughs> keyboard. New. Yeah, just the keyboard. No. Only the keyboard. Yeah, only the keyboard. Because it was oh, really important to have the letter C, and I didn't have it. So I was kind of worried about that. So I connected. I plugged this in uh, for the class. <laughs> <laughs> at least for the class okay now let's see what else do you do do you have lunch in your job do you yes. have lunch okay i have lunch i write a report okay i write reports very good i answer the phone very good very good. So these are activities, right? Now let's go and see. For example, just let me erase this. Okay. I'm going to erase this, okay? And I want you to see this. What does the manager do? What does the manager do? Can you tell me activities? that the I manager the do? Production. Uh, okay. Is your manager a she or a he, a woman or a man? Woman. Okay, then she. Mm -hmm. She does. Uh -huh. She does what check the... Okay, when we answer this question, we don't use does, we just say the verb, but with the third person, remember? She writes, okay? She writes the report. Very good. Mm -hmm. But you said something else. Check he's the production, right? He's super supervisor, employee. His supervisors. Employees, okay. We're gonna say the employees, okay. The employees. You organize meeting. Yeah. Very good. Remember that it's organizes, okay. Remember letter S at the end. He organizes meetings. Mm -hmm. What else? He checks the production. Very good. He checks the production. Uh -huh. Okay. If he's the manager on sales or the sales manager, we could say he 
Motivate. Oh, very good. Motivates. Uh huh. Employee. The employees or the sellers, right? Or the sales team, right? Uh mm huh. -hmm. Very good. Uh mm huh. -hmm. What else do you think a manager do? Uh, create the work plan. Again? Mm -hmm. uh, he creates the work plan. plan he creates. He creates the, the work. Uh huh. The work plan. Uh -huh. the work plan. Uh -huh. Plans. Mm -hmm. Planning. Plans. Uh, okay. Planning. Planning. Mm -hmm. Planning is more accurate. Okay, then we have some activities that are special or functions of a certain um, place, right? Or a certain job. In this case, we're talking about the activities that managers do, right? So now let's remember that singular, singular is she, he, it, and we use letter S at the end of the verb. Plural, maybe we are talking about all the managers, all the managers, okay? Then we are gonna say they, right? They, then we don't use, we don't use letter S at the end. So in this, in that case, let's think, let's change this into plural. I'm going to, no, I'm not going to raise yes. that. I'm not going to raise that. Uh, no estoy segura. Me dijo la gran cama que en Silvia ubica. Es un camino largo a pie. Con mucho gusto puedo llegar. Es what she said over there. Si no tengo mucho tiempo antes de la escuela. Usted debe ser el padre señorita Stacy. Soy Ramón Andrews. Bueno. Escuché hablar. Could you please help me with the TV? Um, I'm sorry. Yeah, because it, it, it's too loud. Okay, thank you very much. Now, let's see. La novela. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so popper, yeah. <laughs> okay, then let's think about all the managers, okay? What do the managers, plural, okay, do? What do the managers do? Ah, then we're going to say they, right? And what is the difference here? Ah, we're going to say they write the reports. They supervise the employees. Okay? They organize meetings. He? A veces solo tienes que usar tu imaginación. And the next one, he, we change it for, uh-huh. Correct. Okay, there we are. So in plural. Él dice sobre todo esto. ¿Decir sobre esto? Sí. Cuando habló con él. Yo no lo conozco. Aparentemente no ha ido a la escuela en algún tiempo. Va todos los días. Ok, now, let's continue here. Let's continue. So this is, a, these are activities that all the managers in our company do, ok? This is the way to ask, including, including all the managers in the group, then we answer they, okay? Then we answer they. And we use the verb in the infinitive or in the present form for plural, okay? Now, let's continue with this. And let's see this thing, because I want you to remember about these expressions, okay? Time expressions. We are going just to remember, just to remember and I want you to notice, please notice that the 
preposition. Yeah, the preposition that we use, for example, we always say in the morning. We never say on the morning. Okay, we say in the morning. Then at noon, we don't say in the noon. We say at noon. In the afternoon, okay? We don't say at, we don't say another. We use in the afternoon. Now, in the evening, in the evening, in the evening, we don't say at the evening, okay? We say in the evening. We don't, we don't say on the evening. We say in the evening. At night, we don't say in the night, okay? We say at night, at midnight. Estas son expresiones que nunca cambian, ¿ok? Nunca cambian. Hay que memorizarlas en esta manera, ¿ok? Always is going to be in the morning. Always is going to be at noon. Always is going to be in the afternoon, in the evening, at night, at midnight. Now, let's think about things that we do in those spaces of time or periods of time. When do you have lunch? When do you have lunch? Can you tell me? At noon. Okay, then we're gonna say, just let me add this thing here. I have lunch at noon. Do you have lunch every day? Do you have lunch every day? Or yes. is, okay, yes. Every day. yes, I do, right? Yes, I do. So I have lunch every day at noon, okay? This is the best answer for this question. When do you have lunch? I have lunch every day at noon, okay? When do you have lunch, Nancy? Perdón, teacher. When do you have lunch? Um, I have a lunch um, at night. Mm, we can't have lunch at night. We have dinner at night, okay? Now let's think. Ah, okay. Lunch is exactly at 12, okay? At, tw at 12 or at 1 p.m., right? From 12 to two, we say at noon, right? Usually, but noon oh. is 12. Noon is 12. The middle day, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, okay, then when do you have lunch, Nancy? Um, Just read the answer. I have lunch. I have lunch. Um, every day at noon. Every day at, at noon. Yes. Ok, chicos, les voy a dar un... Thank you, Nancy. Ok, les voy a dar así como un tip. Cuando alguien les haga una pregunta, vámonos a lo simple, ok? No tratemos de pensar eh, algo que no sabemos decir todavía, ok? Tratemos de utilizar el vocabulario que estamos aprendiendo en este momento y repetirlo, y repetirlo, y repetirlo, ok? Uh, this is the idea. That's the idea here, ok? Now, let's see. When do you have lunch, Audi? I have lunch every day at noon. Excellent. When do you have lunch, Giovanni? I have lunch every day at noon. Okay. When do you have lunch, Wendy? I have lunch every day at noon. Very good. Ana del Carmen, when do you have lunch? I have lunch every day at noon. Very good. When do you have lunch, Karina? I have lunch every day at noon. Okay, very good. Now, when do you have lunch, Alejandra? I have lunch every day at morning. Okay, we have the answer here. We have the answer here, okay? I have lunch every day at noon. 
I have done everything at noon. Very good. Now let's think, guys. Um, when do you have breakfast? When do you I have, have breakfast? I have mm -hmm. breakfast every day in the morning. Very good. Okay, very good. Now, when do you have dinner? I have dinner every day in the evening. Evening. Okay, very good. Okay. There you are. And we're going to say something that it's very obvious, but when do you sleep? When do you sleep? When do you sleep? I have a sleep every day at night. Okay, very good. But in this case, we are not saying have, right? Just let me uh, move these things. We're not using the verb have, okay? Have is for the food here, okay? Now, the question was, when do you sleep? I sleep. I sleep every day. Every At day up night. Very good. Okay. We could say every day or we could say just at night, okay, at night. Because there are some people that works, uh, that work uh, in a night shift, okay, in the night shift. They have a night shift, so they sleep during the day, right? So they could say, I sleep in the morning because they work at night, correct? Correct? Okay. So, any question about this at the moment? Do you have a question? Omar, everything okay? Felix, is everything okay? The question. Do you have a question? No doubt. Uh, when do you have lunch? Okay, very good. When I have lunch every day at noon, okay? I have lunch every day at noon. Thank you very much for asking. <laughs> okay, then. Now, let's see. We're going to change a little this thing, and we are going to another, okay? With uh, We are going to another time expressions, okay? These are other time expressions. And just let me erase this. Okay, now let's think about that maybe in my job on Monday, I cannot have lunch at noon, for example, right? Then I could say, I have lunch. Let me go there. Maybe you don't have lunch. Okay. I have lunch at noon only on Mondays, right? Because it's the only day that you can eat at noon. Es el único día que usted tiene tiempo de almorzar exacto al, al, al mediodía, right? So you say, I have lunch at noon on Mondays. It's on a specific day, okay? And you use on, okay? On, 
the things that you do in a certain day, then you say on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, on Thursday, but maybe not all Mondays you can have lunch at noon. So you say um, on Monday, or you could say every Monday if you do have lunch, all Mondays, okay? You got it? Questions? No questions? No question. Okay, there you go. Everything okay, Wendy? Is it okay? Yes. Okay. Juan Carlos, welcome. Perdón. Welcome. Hi. Thank you. <laughs> okay. eh, tengo una pregunta, teacher. Okay, tell me. Fíjese de que eh, la vez pasada eh, en el módulo 1 nos decía el teacher de que las expresiones de tiempo uh -huh. que siempre las dejáramos al final de la, de la oración, pero no sé si eso es correcto o, o hay excepciones. Well, uh, it's not exactly the time expressions, but the adverbs. The adverbs, yes, you can let them over there at uh, the end of the sentence. Yes, you can use time expressions at the end, at the end of a sentence. Mm -hmm. okay. No es algo exclusivo. Probablemente el tema que estaban viendo en ese momento sí requería que fuera al final, siempre, ¿verdad? Pero en este caso, ustedes pueden decir, on Monday, I do this. Ustedes lo pueden decir al principio, ¿ok? It's better if you, it's mejor si ustedes lo dicen al final y no hay ningún problema. Okay? It's not a problem. Okay, thank you. Okay, very good. Esto del inglés, igual como en el español, van, van a ir encontrando otros usos. Okay, otras maneras, otras formas de poder decir algo similar, algo parecido, un sinónimo. Ok, ahí es donde tenemos que ir abriendo un poquito la, la mente de que se puede decir de las dos maneras. Ok, no quiere decir que una corta la otra. No, al contrario, me agrega otra forma. Ok. Now, let's finish with this. Uh, this topic about the time expressions. And let's think that if you do something or an activity every day or day after day, no day missing, then it is daily, okay? If you do an activity once a week, for example, then you could say weekly, okay? Every week, every week means weekly. Every month means monthly, okay? What about year? What about every year? Correct. Yeah. Correct, yearly, yearly. Every hour? Hourly. Correct, hourly. Okay, then let's see some examples. Here we have these examples. Can you read number one? Let's see, Ana Cristina is there. Hello, Ana Cristina. Hello. Can you read the first sentence, this one? Present it. Okay, there you go. Puede leer, por favor, la primera oración. Can you read the first sentence? The company sells a million product daily. Thank you very much. What is the verb or the action here? Ah, the action is sell. Vende, right? Third person, the company, it, okay? It sells a million products daily. 
every day they sell a million products. Big production, right? Big production because they sell a million products daily. Now let's go to number two. Sentence number two. Wendy, can you read it, please? I read two books monthly. Monthly. Okay. How many books do you read in a month? Alejandra, Nancy, Edwin. How many books do you read in a month? Carlos Eduardo. Mm, what? How many books? Uh huh. Do you read in one month? Mm, do you read mm, books? Nothing. No, none. <laughs> okay, none. Ah, okay. This is a very this is a very good habit to read. Who likes to read here? Who likes to read? Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Who likes to read? Want to see? Who likes to read? No one? Yeah. Me. Hey, Audi. Very good. Who likes to read? A quien le gusta leer? Who likes to read? Okay. What book or what kind of books do you like to read? Novel? I like, I like to read romance love oh. books okay love story books very yes. good novels novels i yes. love drama i love action i love mystery i i, I like a lot of um uh, diverse diverse or motivation books motivation oh motivational motivational mm -hmm. okay very good very good. So this person, this person in the in the sentence, it says that reads two books, two books every month. Can you imagine? Two books every month. Imagine if it is thick. Oh God, right? Number three, sentence number three. Can you read it, Karina, please? I visit my relatives yearly. Yearly. Maybe these relatives uh, live in another country, right? Because once a year, it's kind of far. Okay, far, right? I visit my relatives yearly. Very good. Thank you very much, Karina. Now, number four. Can you read it, Felix, please? Are you there, Felix? Okay, Raquel, can you read please the last sentence, number four? Okay, the app change your user for hourly. Okay, we are talking about an application, right? So it is the app changes your user code hourly, every hour. Every hour you have to have a new code. Okay, then at the moment, do you have any question about how to use the time expressions? Um, I have a question. Okay, tell me. We, um, we can use every other day for time expression. Yes, you can, you can use that. Mm -hmm. Every Thank other you. day means one day you do and one, one day you don't, okay? Mm -hmm. Some days you do, some days you don't. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's correct. Thank you. Okay. Now, 
let's continue and I want you to see something, okay? I'm going to ask this question. Do you have vacations? Do you have a vacations period in your job? Do you have vacations? Yes, I do, teacher. No, I don't. Yes, I do. Okay. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Very yes, good. I do. Very good. Very good. So now, how many days do you have in your vacations? How many days do you have in your vacations? I have 20 days on for vacation. Very good. Very good. So 20 days. Good. Just let me annotate this. I have 20 days. Okay. And my vacation time, right? Okay, just let me tell you the day, it's a noun, a noun. And we can count days. We can say one day, two days, three days, four days. So we can count the days. We can count the months too. Imagine that you could have a month of vacations uh, and paid, right? Paid, oh, it will be nice. But we have days. So day is a countable noun. Do you know what is a countable noun? Do you know what is a countable noun? Things we can count. Things that we can count, correct. We can count uh, objects, okay? For example, my pencil case, okay? I can have two or more a pencil case, right? I can have, for example, a comb, right? A hair comb. And I can have one, two, three, four, five hair combs, okay? Uh, we could say a mouse pad, okay? Mouse pad, mouse pad. We can count one, two, three, okay? We can count mouse pads. So we can count the days. That is why we ask and the question, we use how many, okay? How many days do you have in your vacations? And I already said, I have 20 days in my vacations. Now let's see, how many days do you have in your vacations, Carla? Veronica? Um. I have 15 days. Okay, very good. Now, how many days do you have in your vacation, Raquel? Let's see, Kevin. Oh, okay, there you are, Raquel. How many days do you have in your vacations? I have. I have uh, five. Five days? Five. Days. Okay. Okay. Very good. Now let's see. One second, please. I'm going to, I'm trying to find something else for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, let's see, how many days do you have in your vacation, Giovanni? I have 10 days. Okay, very good. Uh, well, in this case, let's think about 15 days. Business days, business days, business days mean días hábiles, okay? Business days, 
how many business days do you have in your vacations? For example, these 20 days are business days. Estos 20 días son días hábiles? No. No? Okay, no, they are I... calendar, right? Calendar. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Now, let's continue and I want you to see something else. I'm not gonna ask you, okay? Uh, usualmente no es tan... No, it's not my cable today. No es mi cable el día de hoy. Okay. No es muy... Uh, no es... I'm sorry. Pues a nadie le gusta, ¿verdad? No, no, it's not too polite to ask how much do you earn monthly. No one wants to say, right? Nadie quiere decir cuánto gana. So we don't ask that, okay? Usually, usually we don't ask that. But it's very important, it's very important to know how to say this, okay? Es importante saber decirlo, aunque no lo estamos diciendo, ¿ok? No lo andamos diciendo o divulgando, ¿verdad? No es algo muy polite preguntarle a alguien, hey, mira, hoy, ¿cuánto ganas? No, right? Um, nobody wants to say. But let's see this. Ok. How much do you earn monthly? How much do you earn monthly? Let's think about imaginary, okay? Imaginary amount, amount of money. Okay, I'm going to say, for example, I'm going to use the same verb. I earn, um, let's say $600, okay? monthly okay this is the answer okay how much do you earn monthly i earn six hundred dollars monthly and then you you write your own amount okay but at the moment we could say an imaginary amount i earn six hundred dollars monthly now you earn money Right, you earn money. Money is an uncountable noun, uncountable. Even though you can count the money, one, two, three dollars, okay? So you can count the bills, okay? You can count the bills. These are bills. You can count, let's count how many bills do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bills. Okay, bills. But money, the noun money, is not countable. Okay, so that's we say how much when we are talking about money. Now let's talk about money. Let's talk about money. And let's think. Okay. Currency. Currency. Es como el tipo de moneda que existe en un país, right? For example, we could say dollar, we could say colon, uh, pesos, right? Yenes, currency. That's currency. Can you count currency? No, you can't, right? You can't. Now, bill. Yes, you can count bills. Can you count Coins, coins, uh, I forget yes. the coins here. Let me show you. I don't have coins here, okay. 
Then we could say, how Teacher. many bills do you have? I have coins. Okay. We could say also, how many coins do you have? We're talking about money. Now, talking about money means that uh, we need cash. Do you know what cash means? Cash? Cash? It's the opposite to credit, okay? It's the opposite to credit. So we could say, how much cash do you have in your pocket? Okay. Y si se fijan, tenemos hablando de dinero algunas palabras o nombres que son contables y otros que son que no se pueden contar. Now, let's see. How much cash do you have in your pocket? Now, let's see. For example, how much is the change? El vuelto, right? How much is the change? ¿Y cuánto es devuelto tú? Okay, that's how much is the change. Now let's think about how much do you, how much money, let's say. Do you save? We could say monthly. Okay. How much money do you save monthly? Those are your savings. Savings. Okay. The amount of money that you don't spend. La cantidad de dinero que usted no gasta are your savings, son sus ahorros, right? Savings, savings. Okay, now, what is a piggy bank? Do you know what is a piggy bank? What is a piggy bank? How many piggy banks do you have? Okay. How many piggy banks do you have? Alcancías, right? How many piggy bank? Piggy bank is la alcancía. Usualmente es de cerdito, por eso en inglés they call it piggy bank, okay? Where you put your savings, your coins, okay? You put in your coins in your piggy bank, okay? Bonus, what is a bonus? What is a bonus? Okay, bonus. Bonus lo podemos contar, pero como estamos hablando de dinero, okay, we are talking about the amount of money that your bonus is, okay? For example, if you sell, if you sell a, pro a product and you get a goal, cuando usted alcanza una meta, right? You get a goal, they give you a bonus, right? Extra money, extra money, it's a bonus, okay? Extra money is a bonus, like a commission, like a gift for getting a goal. Por alcanzar una meta, usted le dan un bono, right? Then, how much is your bonus? They are asking about the amount of money of your bonus. Now, deposit. Do you know what is a deposit? The money that you take to the bank, okay? Withdraw is when you go to the bank and take your money out, okay? Take your money out. Cuando usted va al banco y retira el dinero, it's a withdrawal. 
withdraw, withdraw, okay? What is an ATM, guys? What is an ATM? Ajero. Ajero. Do you know what an, uh, what an ATM is? Cajero automático, automatic. Ajá. Uh -huh. ATM automatic. How many ATMs are around your house? Near your house. How many ATMs? Two ATMs. Well, near my house, at the supermarket, there are four ATMs, four ATMs. And the gas station, there are maybe two or three ATMs. Do you know what is an ATM? How much? Cajero automático. Teacher, la asistencia. Estaba silenciada, chicos. Nobody told me about that. ¿O me escuchaban? Sí, la escuchamos. Usted no nos escucha a nosotros. No sé qué sucede con este coso. Ayer me dio el problema del sonido. ¿Se recuerdan la interferencia? Ok. Pero creo que ahora sí, ¿verdad? Yes. Now, Okay, now uh, now that I can hear, what is in the, uh, yes, we're gonna take the attendance too. Thank you very much. And let's see, um, what is an ATM we, we said? Cajero automático. Yes, but let's try to explain that in English. Um, it's a bank machine. Very good, very good. It's where you withdraw the money, right? Because there we have this word here, withdraw. You can make a withdraw over there in the ATM. Yes, automatic teller machine. That is the what, what ATM stands for, right? Automatic teller machine. There you go. Automatic teller machine. Okay, now let's take the attendance and let's take a little break, right? When we take the attendance, we take a little break. Let me go from here. Okay, Alejandra Vanessa Mora Rodriguez. Present, sure. Okay. Alexis Antonio Sandoval Morales. Ana Cristina Chavarría Flores. Present, teacher. Ana del Carmen Mejía Álvarez. Present. Astrid Tatiana Jiménez Ramírez. Present teacher. Vladimir Antonio Santos Valdivieso. Is not Vladimir here? No. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Present teacher. Okay, Giovanni Alexander Ramirez Sanchez. Present teacher. Por favor, enciendan su cámara. 
a uh, los que no la, la han encendido. Uh, Ok, Giovanni. Uh, Jonathan Ernesto Fuentes Marín. José Atilio Mangandi Alvarado. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramírez. Present. Karina Noemí Álvarez Mejía. Present. Carla Verónica Suria López. Present. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Present. Luis Roberto Mejía Menéndez. María Elena Romero de Galvez. Ah, ella dijo que se le había ido el Inter, ¿verdad? María Elena, are you there? Ok, Nancy Ebet Tobar Rivera. Present. Omar Alfredo Mozo Flores. Present. Raquel Judith Vázquez de Córdoba. Present. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Present. Auri Elena Segovia Rugamas. Present. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Present. Félix Moisés Blanco Araniva. Present. Javier Adolfo Mendoza Tobar. Oh, ok. Auri, Edwin, Félix y Javier. Eh, sí, realmente ustedes están eh, como oyentes en este curso. Por eso es que no me aparecen en, uh, en la programación, ¿ok? Um, de cualquier modo, ustedes pueden hacerme sus preguntas a través del chat de WhatsApp, ¿ok? Si ustedes tienen alguna duda o alguna cosa en que necesiten mi ayuda, yo con gusto se las doy a través del WhatsApp, ¿ok? Ok, teacher, pero, y, y, o sea, ¿pero ¿qué significa estar de oyente? Eso es la pregunta. ¿Qué significa ser de oyente? Porque a mí ahora me cayó un mensaje diciéndome que como que no me he metido a las clases. Y a mí igual. Igual a mí. Eh, el, su, no, es, eso creo que se va a solucionar. Eh, con respecto de eso de que no hayan entrado a la clase es porque ustedes está, eh, se acuerdan de la plataforma, ¿verdad? Que ustedes no habían accesado, entonces no aparecían como enrolled. Uh, ¿Cómo se llama eso? como matriculado. El día de ahora, eh, como yo he estado desde el primer día ubicando esta situación, eh, ya se resolvió, ustedes pudieron accesar, no hay ningún problema, ustedes van a hacer exactamente todo como estar matriculados con el Instafor y van a recibir sus clases de inglés para el trabajo, todo igual, lo único que eh, significa es que su, su diploma eh, se los da inglés corporativo. Eso es todo, o sea, no, no significa eh, que no son parte, no, claro que sí son parte, pero están clasificados así, ¿ok? Porque Insafor toma 20 en, la, en, la, en el listado, ¿ok? Ok, thank you. De cualquier modo, yo estoy pendiente de ustedes, no crean que no, ¿ok? Yo estoy pendiente de thank cada you. uno. Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Okay. okay. Bien. We're gonna switch to English. Okay. And let's go back. Mm, let me. Okay, we enter to how much and how many, okay? There we are. When do we use how much? When do we use how much? Uncountable, right? Uncountable nouns. Uncountable. How much is for uncountable nouns? And how many is for? Countable, right? 
Go ahead. Countable. Okay, let me share the screen to continue with a little thing and then we are going to the we are going to the manual, but at this moment, let, just let me finish this, okay? For example, we use how many when we have a countable nine and we want to know the amount. When we want to know the amount of something that is countable, I use how many, okay? How many? For example, I have a list here. Let's do this question. Let's make this question. How many, and let's use this, charger, okay? Let's make up a sentence, okay? I'm going to add a little text box here. Better. Okay. Okay, how many? Chargers, okay? How many chargers? And let's say a complement. What do we do with a charger? Charger. How many chargers are plugged in? Okay? ¿Cuántos cargadores están conectados? Right? How many chargers are plugged in? Okay. How many chargers are plugged in? Let's talk about the keyboard. Can you um, make a question using keyboard? How many? How many key keyboards do you have? Excellent. And the question is for me, right? <laughs> I have one, two, and three, and four. <laughs> because of the letter Z. <laughs> okay, this is funny. Now let's use napkin. Do you know what a napkin is? Napkin, the thing that you use, you are eating and then you use a little paper to clean up your mouth. Okay, servilleta, right? Napkin. Okay then, can you make a sentence using napkin? Carlos Eduardo? Many napkins uh, are in your table. Are on your table. Okay, very good. Thank you very much, Carlos Eduardo. Now let's see. Giovanni, a cap. Let's make a question using cap. Cap. Gorra, right? Cap. How many cap? Mm -hmm. And your from? Excuse me? How many cups in your room? Okay, do you have in your room? Okay. There you are. How many cups do you have in your room? Let's think bedroom better. Okay, it sounds more specific. Okay, how many caps do you have in your bedroom? Okay, now mask. This is a mask, right? Do you remember what is a mask? This is a mask. 
Okay. How many do you use daily? Okay. How many masks do you use daily? We could say use or we could say wear. Wear. Okay. Wear. Wear. Les voy a poner los dos verbos. Okay. Para que ustedes sepan, una mascarilla, esto que usamos todo el tiempo es como un tip, ¿verdad? Una mascarilla, como es algo que eh, usamos sobre nuestro cuerpo, se dice wear, ¿ok? Ok. How many masks, masks do you wear daily or wear, wear daily? Porque sería ahora como parte de nuestra ropa, ¿verdad? Parte de lo que utilizamos de nuestra ropa y lo usamos en nuestro cuerpo. Then we use wear, wear, okay? Wear. How many masks do you wear daily? We could say wear, but also we can say use because it's a thing. And it's disposable, right? It's disposable. So we could say use. Es descartable, right? So we could say use. Correct? So you can use either way, use or wear. Okay. What about lamp? How many lamps eh, are your, are your house? Okay, are there, okay. Are there in your house, okay. Are there means I, okay. Are there, are there. I, okay, both together. How many lamps are there in your house? Now, how do we answer this? How do we answer this? Uh, then we say, how many chargers are, pl are plugged in? We say an amount of chargers. For example, okay, um, they are four, for example, four chargers plugged in. Why they? Because it's plural, more than one, okay? They are four chargers plugged in. Okay? How do we answer how many keyboards do you have? How many keyboard keyboards do you have? Uh-huh. I have, let's say an amount. Let's say an amount, two keyboards, okay? This is just an example. Okay, I have two keyboards. You see, one and two. There you are. We have to say, are there here on your table? Okay. How many napkins are there on your table? And let's think it's for eight people. Your table, it's for eight people. Okay. Then we could say, there are mm, 16, two napkins for each person, right? There are 16 napkins okay we say an amount of things we can count one two three one two three okay there you are 
So it's the same for all of them. Okay, for example, I'm going to ask something. How many pair of shoes do you buy monthly? How many pair of shoes? How many pair of shoes do you buy monthly? Anyone? An answer? Uh -huh. There are four lamps. Oh, the, the lamps. Okay, thank you. Very good. What about the shoes? How many pair of shoes do you buy monthly? Let's see, Giovanni, do you buy shoes monthly? Every month? Every week. <laughs> Every other month. I buy I buy I buy two pair of shoes. Thank you. Two pair of shoes monthly. Okay, you buy a lot, right? Very good. Very good. There you are. So now we Understand that when they ask how many, we are going to answer with an amount of things. You can count and you cannot count. Let's see the things that we cannot count. We use how much, okay? We use how much and they are uncountable, uncountable. It means that I cannot say one milk, two milks, three milks is not correct. So we say some milk, okay? We say a little of milk, a glass of milk, okay? We use a quantifier to say an amount of these things. Now, let's think about a question. Okay, how much milk do you have every morning? How much milk do you have every morning? How much milk do you have every morning? I'm going to give you the answer. I have a cup of milk, okay? I have a cup of milk. I can with, say every with morning. coffee. Oh yeah, very good. Mm -hmm. Coffee is uncountable too, right? Coffee is uncountable too. So we could say how much coffee do you have every morning? How much coffee do you have every morning? Mm -hmm. I have three cups of coffee. Mm -hmm. One day. Okay, this is the way to answer. Now I'm going to ask, how much paper do you need to take your notes? 
how much paper do you need to take your notes? Mm -hmm. How my pa how much papers do you need to take your notes? How much papers do you need to take your notes? We need a quantifier, right? Necesitamos una palabra que nos diga la cantidad del papel. Okay. I I need three pages of paper. Okay, very good. I need three pages of we could say just pages or pages. we could Rose. say sheets. Okay. Sheets Sheet. of paper. Remember to say sheet, okay? <laughs> Don't say with a letter A because it's a bad word. <laughs> okay? You get it? <laughs> I see your yeah. faces. Hey, come on. <laughs> I saw your faces. Okay, I need three sheets of paper. Very good. Now, how much alcohol do you need to clean your hands? How much, how much alcohol do you need to clean your hands? Mm -hmm. We could say one drop. Uh, let's Write it the complete sentence. I need one drop of alcohol. Okay? Una gota, right? A drop. Correct? To say the amount, to say the amount of an uncountable noun, we need a quantifier. We need a, a quantifier, okay? For example, the quantifiers, I'm going to add another, are some, a lot, a little, okay? Some, unos cuantos, algunos, right? A lot, a big amount a big amount, a little, short amount, short amount, okay? We could say the quantifier referring to the container, the container of the liquids, of the substances, of the grains, if they are grains, or, or the thing we are talking about, okay? For example, we could say a bottle, yeah, a bottle of, we could say a bag of, a pack of, a pair of, okay? These are quantifiers. Estas palabras que estamos viendo nos ayudan para poder decir la cantidad de los nombres incontables, ¿ok? Para poder decir la cantidad aproximada si no es algo exacto. We could say a, some, a little, a lot. The specific ones are a bottle of wine, for example, right? Let's think about cotton. Do you know what cotton is? Cotton, cotton. Algodón, right? Cotton. How do you count cotton? A packet. A pack of cotton, good. A package, yes. What is this thing? Okay. We could say also a pound, okay. About. 
una libra, right? A pound, a package, a bag, correct? Let's think about pollution. What do you think about the pollution? Pollution, contamination, right? Can you count one contamination? No, right? One pollution? No, right? We can't say that. We say some pollution. We say a lot of pollution, little pollution, okay? Amount, amount of uncountable nouns. If they are not exactly, then we use some, a lot, a little. If you have an exact amount, then you use a bottle of, a bag of, a pack of, a pair of, a pound. Okay, after this explanation, let's go to work, okay? Just let me erase this. We have some others here, for example, sand. Can you count sand? Can you count sand? No, right? No. Okay, now we're going to Okay, help me with things that we can count. Everybody, saying things. Things that you can count. Can you count fingers? Yes. Okay, another. Mm. Okay, I'm going to say, um, voy a decir un tema, por ejemplo, voy a decir um, parts of your face, okay? Parts of your face, tell me. Can you count a nose? Yes. Okay, another one in your face. Things in your face. A brown. Okay. A. Okay. Mouth. Mouth, uh-huh. Ear. Ears, yes. Uh-huh. Eyes. Eyes, correct. Ajá, uh -huh. parts of your face. Ana del Carmen. Parts of your eh, face that you can count. Lips. Lips, good. <laughs> Very good. It sounds kind of funny here, right? <laughs> because of the meaning in El Salvador, right? Okay. Now, let's think another and another topic, office supplies, office supplies, office supplies that you can count. For example, pencil, what else? Office Computer. Supplies. Okay, uh-huh. Copy Book. matching. Very good. Books. Very good. Paper. Um. Paper, can you count paper? No. No, right? Okay, only countables, countables. Eraser. Eraser, good. Mm -hmm. Sharpener. Index. Yes. Calculator. Excuse me? Calculator. Okay. I wasn't sure about calculator, okay? Mouse. Oh, mouse, yeah. Uh huh. Scissor. Very good. Scissors. Scissors is a very good example because 
in Spanish, in Spanish, we can count the scissors because we say una tijera, dos tijeras, tres tijeras. That's what we say in Spanish, but in English, we can't say that. We, we say some scissors, okay? And scissors are always plural, always plural. Okay, some scissors. We can say different things, but we can say also a pair of scissors. Okay, this is the correct, it's not countable in English. It's not countable. It's uncountable. Once. What else? Once. Window. Toy. Let me get there. You say something, window, and then before that? Door. Door, uh-huh. Toy. Toys. Do you have toys in your office? Air conditioner. Air conditioner. Air Air is not countable, right? Air conditioner is countable or uncountable? Air conditioner is countable. One, two, three, four. Yes. Why? Why? Let's explain this. Because it's a thing that in my office, uh, for, for example, in my office, I, there are, there are uh, three auditorium, uh, auditorium meetings. Okay, yes. Uh, yes, Audi. Uh, le, le, give me just one second. Sure. The person who is with this problem, there is someone with, the, with trouble. I don't know what happened because my thing is okay. Okay, about the air conditioner. We were talking about the air conditioner. Conditioner, conditioner is the machine, right? Is the dispenser that we have uh, that blow out the air. So we count the thing, we count the machine, okay? We, we are not counting the air, we are counting the machine. So the machine is called air conditioner. So yes, we can count the air conditioner, okay? I can chairs. Have... Chairs, good. Very good. Okay, now we have the idea about countable and uncountable. Now we know how to use how much and we know how to use how many. Now let's think about some other uncountable nouns. Just let's take two minutes to think, okay? Remember the uncountable things are substances liquids and things that we cannot mm, uh, have one by one, right? So can you tell me another uncountable noun? Let's think about uh, food, food. Let's think Quart about food. Quarter. Water, good. Rice. Sugar. Rice, excellent. Sugar. Sugar, good. Friole frito. <laughs> oh, very good. Fried beans. Popcorn. Okay. Fried beans. Popcorn. Uh huh. <laughs> I think you're hungry. You're hungry now. You want to have dinner, right? Yay. I know that. <laughs> Okay, let's think about food. Let's think about food just because of the uncountable, okay? Let's think about wine, okay? Uh, what else? Oh. Juice. Oh. Juice. Uh-huh. Soap. Oh, soup. Soup. Yeah, because soap is the thing that you use in the bathroom, right? That's soap. You don't need soap, right? 
<laughs> Very good. Coffee. 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 Good. Mm -hmm. Hi. Air. Very good. See, right now we are eating air, right? <laughs> You're right. Hey, you, you're funny. You're funny. Hey, come on. Come on. Don't mock on us. <laughs> ah, this is funny. We are eating air for dinner tonight. Oh, I'm sorry for you guys. <laughs> okay, then you see we have countable and uncountable. Now let's go and think about... If you want to go and buy some things of this, okay? Now we know about money. Now we know about the things. Now let's go and, and think. About this. Okay, we're going to learn about how much how much this is the way to ask for the price of something okay this is the way to ask for the price and singular we say how much is it how much is it and then the answer for that is it's 150 it's 150 let's see another example how much is this computer it's 700 dollars right it's 700 dollars now let's see how much is that jacket how much how much is that jacket it's 95.99 dollars okay now take note about this and then we go to the manual because there we have a little conversation about money too and perks and benefits okay and benefits just let me put this thing up all right. Let me move it. Okay, there we are. Here, we have a conversation, okay? Here we have a conversation. I'm going to play an audio. Okay, I sent to the WhatsApp chat this audio, okay? I sent it through WhatsApp. Let's take this 30 seconds to listen to it, okay? Todos pueden accesar al chat de WhatsApp? Hey, Josh, I have a question for you. Do you yes. have to pay the keys until your job? Yes, I do, Ruth. How about you? Who wants to share it? Hey, come on. It's very good. Who was it listening to it? 20 days to be exact. How many bonuses do you have per year, Ruth? I have four bonuses. What about you? And how much do you receive? I have just two. But each bonus is more than $600. Okay. Do you want to play it again? And let's listen to Ruth and Josh. Okay. Hey, Josh, I have a question for you. Do you have paid vacation to your job? Yes, I do, Ruth. How about you? Me too. I have paid vacations. 
How many days do you have in your vacations? Twenty days to be exact. How many bonuses do you have per year, Ruth? I have four bonuses. What about you? And how much do you receive? I have just two, but each bonus is more than six hundred dollars. Okay. What are they talking about? What are they talking about? Can you tell me? Anyone? About the paid vacation. Okay, yeah, paid vacations. So those are kind of benefits, right? Those benefits are called perks, okay? Perks, I want to show you this word, perks. 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 They are talking about perks. They are talking about the benefits. They are talking about the money they make. Um, the amount of money they can have working in one play. Okay. Perks are for low or um, the company decide, okay? The company decides to what perks are they offering to you, right? It depends on the kind of job that you do or maybe the position that you have in the company, then uh, you receive those perks. Okay, now let's go to the, to the conversation. And do you have any question about the vocabulary in the conversation? Do you have a question with the vocabulary in the conversation? We are in page 14. Questions? Um, I have a question, but it's, it's about the money vocabulary. Okay. Um, I don't know what it is. Bargain? Bargain? Oh, bargain. Bargain mm -hmm. is um, when you pay mm -hmm. less than the price okay for example this thing cost uh let's say two hundred dollars and then you have a bargain tonight because you can buy it for what one hundred okay that's a bargain Less it's money. like i offer yeah it's on sale yes bargain is like that mm -hmm. thank you okay, okay. good discount a discount yes mm -hmm. Very good, but bargain is uh, something that you associate like, oh, I did a good purchase, right? I did it good because I got it for less money. Okay, that's bargain. Mm -hmm. Let's continue guys. We have only 12 minutes to finish. So I want to hear Ana del Carmen with Giovanni, please. Ruth and Josh. Ruth, Ana del Carmen, Josh, Giovanni. Hey, hey, Josh, I have a question for you. Do you have five vacation at your job? Yes, I do, Ruth. How about you? Hey, me too. I have five vacation. How many days do you have in your vacation? 20 days to be exact. How many bonus do you have per year, Ruth? I have four bon bonus. What about, about you? And how much do you receive? I have just two. But each bonus is for more than $600. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Now, what are we going to do? We are going to have only five minutes to finish this. I'm going to send you to the breakout. We're going to break out this. And everybody, please, practicing the conversation. Only five minutes. There you go. Practice the conversation.
Um, uh -huh. Practice I'm the right. conversation. Mm -hmm. Wendy is Ruth and Alejandra Josh. Okay. Hi, hi, Joy. Oh, hey, Joyce. I have a question for you. Do you have five vacation at your house? Yes, I do. I do, Ruth. How, how about you? Me too. I have five vacation. How many days do you have in your vacation? 20 days eh, to be. Uy, tiene una flecha, no sé qué palabra es esa. Ex... To be exact. Ah, ok, que tenía la flechita, be exact. How many bonus do you have per your root? I have four bonus. What about you? And how much do you receive? I have used to put each bonus is for more than uh, six. Uh, ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Uh, six hundred. Six hundred dollar. Okay, very good, very good. Now switch. Okay. I'm going to go to another group, okay? You are doing a good job. Okay. Hey, Josh, I have a question for you. Do you have paid vacation at your home? Yes. Page 14. Uh, okay. There you have it on the chat, the conversation, they sent it on the chat. Okay, let's start. Ruth and Josh, right? Nancy, hello? Okay. Hello. Um, Hello, are you Ruth? Okay. Okay. Permítame, pero estoy abriendo. No, no veo bien. Okay, Ruth. Uh, I enjoy. I have a question for you. Do you have? Paying vacation at your joy. Yes, I do, Ruth. Uh, how about you? Okay. Mm. Me too. I have a paying vacation. How many days do you have in your vacation? Okay. Uh, how many uh, bonus uh, do you have uh, per year? Okay. I have your business. I have four bonuses. I have four bonuses. I have four bonuses. And what about what about you? And how much do you receive? Receive. Receive. I have just two boot edge uh, bonus is for more than um, six hundred dollars. Okay, now switch. Teacher, bonus, bonuses. Is yes, singular, bonus. bonus. One is if bonus, two and more, bonuses. Bonus, bonus, yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. 
This is re receive. 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 Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. I'm going to another group. Okay. You are doing a good job. Switch. Okay, people, we are going to take the attendance. Okay, let me go there. Okay, there we are. Alejandra Vanessa Mora Rodriguez. Present, chair. Okay, um, Alexander, I'm sorry, Alexis Antonio Sandoval Morales. All right. Ana Cristina Chavarria Flores. Present. Ana del Carmen Mejía Álvarez. Present teacher. Astrid Tatiana Jiménez Ramírez. Present teacher. Vladimir Antonio Santos Valdivieso. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Present teacher. Giovanni Alexander Ramírez Sánchez. Presentation. Jonathan Ernesto Fuentes Marín. Jose Atilio Mangandi Alvarado. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramírez. Present teacher. Karina Noemí Álvarez Mejía. Present. Carla Verónica Suria López. Present. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Present. Luis Roberto Mejía Menéndez. María Elena Romero de Galvez. Nancy. María Elena Romero. Ah, she was, uh, uh, okay. Yeah, she got disconnected, I remember. Nancy Yvette Tobar Rivera. Present. Okay. Omar Alfredo Mozo Flores. I have teacher. Okay, Raquel Judith Vázquez de Córdoba. Present. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Present. Auri Elena Segovia Rugamas. Present. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Present. Félix Moisés Blanco Araniva. Javier Adolfo Mendoza Tobar. Okay, there we are. Okay. Como, um, solo quiero, ahora le toca a Ana Cristina quedarse conmigo, okay? Solo quiero hacerles una, una pequeña pregunta, este, para que nos eh, familiaricemos y estemos todos en sintonía y vayamos aprendiendo juntos y nos sintamos bien. Hasta este momento eh, que llevamos, es nuestra tercera clase. 
eh, necesito escucharlos. Eh, cómo sienten, cómo vamos, eh, opiniones de la clase. Teacher, a mí me cuesta bastante entenderle quizás todas las indicaciones en inglés y quizás ahí yo a veces sí me pierdo en la clase, no sé si a los demás les, les pasa. De igual forma, eh, siento que usted es muy dinámica, teacher, y la verdad es que eh, eh, a mí también me cuesta el hecho de que hay muchas palabras que todavía no sé qué significan, entonces... Tal vez algunas sí, pero al final como no sé qué significan ciertas palabras, no termino de entender la oración, entonces ahí también yo me pierdo y, y me quedo así como, no sé qué dijo y, y yo no sé qué responder, porque no sé qué es lo que está preguntando, pero pues por lo demás siento que está bien. Ok. Igual, igual me sucede a mí, hay, hay cosas que no entiendo y me toca estar con el, eh, con el traductor uh -huh. acá, viendo el traductor y a la vez escuchando, entonces no capto nada. Viendo el traductor y escuchando no puedo captar nada. Ok, ok. ¿Alguien más? Por mí, por el contrario, teacher, a mí sí, sí me parece mucho. Eh, siento que se aprende más así porque ya estamos eh, esforzándonos por tratar de entender y practicamos mejor. Ok. ¿Alguien más? Bueno, en mi caso, eh, yo desconozco varias palabras, ¿verdad? Mi vocabulario todavía no es tan amplio, pero considero que la metodología es bastante buena porque de alguna manera nos hace pensar quizá un poquito más, vea, de qué significa cada cosa o a la vez nos hace como esforzarnos, vea. Sí, me confundo igual que a mis compañeras, pero considero también que es una buena metodología. Ok, ok. En las tareas que han revisado en la plataforma, ¿han tenido algún problema, alguna duda? Eh, bueno, en mi caso no, porque de igual manera si hay una palabra que no la entiendo, pues la busco y ahí ya pues logro identificar, así que no, no tenía problema. Ok, ok. Bueno, yo tomo todas sus opiniones y vamos a ir haciendo eh, el esfuerzo, ¿verdad? De que todos vayamos al mismo paso. Ahora bien, eh, mi indicación o parte de mi, de mi obligación es que no debemos hablar español, ¿ok? No debemos hablar español durante la clase y de igual manera a ustedes se les exige de parte pues de, de la institución a utilizar el vocabulario de la clase, ¿verdad? Vamos a ir poco a poco, este todavía es su segundo módulo, no se frustren, sigamos adelante y a practicar, a practicar como le decía ayer yo a Nancy, esto se trata de que si ayer dije esto y otra vez lo vuelvo a decir, ese es el chiste, ¿verdad? Esa es la manera en que voy a aprender. Repetir como los bebés, ¿verdad? Usted le dice, no, pum, lo toca, no, pum, lo toca, no, hasta que lo comprende, ¿verdad? El bebé no sabe qué significa no, pero no se lo dice, ¿ok? No se lo tiene que decir, no, no, hasta que comprende. Entonces, de igual manera, todo idioma es la misma forma. Ok, ya tomé este minuto más de ustedes, no los quiero entretener más. Ok, eh, yo tomo nota de sus observaciones y esto es bueno, ok, para que todos estemos en sintonía. Then time is over, class is over, so let's meet us tomorrow. Uh, perdón, Ana Cristina, are you there? Ok, Ana Cristina, hoy es su turno. Ok, now, good night everybody and let's meet us tomorrow, ok. Bye bye. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Okay, see you tomorrow. Bye. Good night, teacher. See you tomorrow. Okay, see you tomorrow. Esperemos un momentito, Ana. Okay. Let's just wait a little.
Okay, there we are. Okay. Okay. Do you have questions? Eh, quizás un poco más de esta clase. No sé si comprendí bien en eh, how much es no se puede contar. Exactly. Yes. The amount, amount, cantidad, okay, the amount of something. You want to know the amount of something. So we use how much when you cannot count the things. You can count phones, you can, right? So I use how many, I don't use how much, okay? But I cannot count, uh, do I have something here to show you something? Mm. Let's see, paper, okay, paper, paper, you cannot count paper, okay, then I say how much paper do you need, okay, so how much is for uncountable, and how many is for countable, okay, for example, how many cell phones do you have? Okay, how many cell phones do you have? Then you tell me the amount. Usted me va a decir la cantidad de celulares que tiene, right? How many cell phones do you have? If I ask, how, uh -huh, how much paper do you need? Maybe you are going to the copy machine, right? To the photocopier. And you say, I need three sheets, sheets, okay? hojas de papel, right? Tenemos que contarlas con un cuantificador. No podemos... Pero, sí, en el caso que yo sí sé, tengo tres, tres páginas. Mm -hmm. how, how many? Three. Ah, then it is how many sheets of paper. Sheets. Usted puede contar las hojas de papel, pero no puede contar el papel. En, ok, va. Volvamos a, a ese detalle. Para entender un poquito los contables e incontables, pensemos también, así como usted eh, piensa en español, digamos. En español hay cosas que usted puede contar y cosas que usted no puede contar. Por ejemplo, nosotros, el papel, ¿ok? El papel, decimos un papel, dos papeles, un papelito, ¿verdad? Dos papelitos, o sea, nosotros lo contamos. Entonces, nuestro concepto en la cabeza debe cambiar. Definitivamente para aprender los nombres que no se cuentan en inglés, debe cambiar. ¿Por qué? Porque hay cosas en español que sí se pueden contar, pero en inglés no se pueden contar. Si yo digo papers en plural, contándolos, ¿verdad? En inglés, ya no es este papel, ya son los documentos, es otro significado, ¿verdad? Your papers, ah, estoy hablando en plural y los estoy contando, ¿ok? Quiere decir un significado muy distinto a este papel, ¿verdad? Entonces, eso es lo que debe cambiar en la mentalidad para poder entender las cosas que sí puedo contar y las cosas que no puedo contar. Las cosas que siempre son plural y las cosas que eh, no son plural. Por ejemplo, volviendo al ejemplo de la ropa que les decía. Ok, pair of shoes. Shoes, como siempre son dos, ¿verdad? Siempre son dos eh, zapatos. Porque si solo compro un zapato, no puedo, no puedo. ¿verdad? Entonces, mi mentalidad tiene que cambiar. Porque uno dice, voy a comprar unos zapatos. Ok, en plural, ¿verdad? Porque no puedo decir, voy a ir a comprar un zapato. zapato. Entonces, en inglés, sí, sí le va a concordar. ¿verdad? Pero en papel no le va a concordar. Por eso hay que ir cambiando y memorizando vocabulario. Okay. Entonces, volviendo al punto, ¿verdad? Volviendo al punto, how much is for uncountable. Y normalmente, normalmente los incontables, the uncountable nouns, are liquids, substances, son líquidos, sustancias, cosas, masas, ¿verdad? Cosas así como, 
que no se pueden desunir, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, la harina, flour, es incontable, ¿verdad? Es, pero nosotros en español decimos una harina, dos harinas, tráeme esa harina, tráeme dos, tráeme dos harinas. Eh, quiero la de arroz y la de maíz, ok, son dos harinas. But in English, we can't say that. We can't say that. Tenemos que especificar a pound of flour o podemos decir a package of flour, pero no podemos decir um, una harina, ¿ok? Una harina. Una harina, y yo, no. cuando, cuando nos dijo how much is it, y una respuesta it, eh, one, five dollars. Ah, eso era del precio. Ya no lo terminamos de ver por el tiempo, pero este, mañana vamos a ver acerca de cómo preguntar el precio. Asking for the price or asking the price of something. Okay. Of something. For example, we say, how much is this computer? This computer, because I'm talking about one product, one wow. product. Okay, then I say, how much is this computer? Then I say, it is, so it is, and then I say the amount of money. Then I say, it's $700. Okay, estoy diciendo okay. el precio de la computadora. I'm saying the price. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm saying the price of the computer. Mm -hmm. I, me confunde un poquito porque estamos hablando de much. Es que el dinero eh, es incontable. Eh. Las cantidades de dinero siempre se van a preguntar con how much. ¿Ok? okay. How much. Cantidades de dinero. Ahora, el, lo que le confunde a ustedes es el how many con el dinero. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. El how many uh -huh. con el dinero. Porque ahí tenemos, por ejemplo, how many bonuses. ¿Verdad? Bonus. Sí es contable. Sí podemos decir one bonus, two bonuses, three bonuses, because they are different amounts of money. Okay? They are different amounts. So you can count those bonuses. Pero no podemos contar dinero. La palabra money es incontable. Eso es lo que tiene que cambiar en nuestro chip, ¿verdad? Porque en español nosotros sí decimos un dinero. Hey, este es un dinero y este es otro dinero. Right? Hacemos la diferencia y lo contamos. ¿Verdad? No es que aquí tengo tres pistos. Right? Decimos así. En inglés no. Okay, en inglés no. En inglés decimos money, how much. O incontable. ¿Verdad? Incontable. Entonces podemos hablar de dólares, podemos hablar de monedas, podemos hablar de billetes, de cheques, de, de lo que sea, bonos. Eso sí se puede contar. ¿Verdad? Pero la cantidad del dinero, no. ¿Ok? No podemos. Entonces tiene que cambiar eso en nuestra, en nuestro chip. Uh -huh. yeah. Sí, de hecho sí me cuesta entender un poquito porque... Bueno, hace, hace un montón que no estudio inglés y en la, quizás en la clase anterior combinábamos un poco bastante el inglés porque sí nos hacían hablar mucho. Sí, varios de los compañeros que están ahí sí hablábamos mucho en inglés porque habían actividades y sí, participábamos todos, pero sí me cuesta como comprender que me está preguntando en un momento determinado. Okay. Se me queda así como que no, no sé qué me preguntó. Mami. Oh, ok, ok. Sí. Ajá. Pero sí, digamos que yo el escribirlo se me hace fácil, pero escucharlo, eh, me cuesta bastante escucharlo y hablarlo sí me cuesta. Ok, ok. Sí, um, pero... sí, para esto lo que mi mejor consejo, mi mejor manera es que usted fíjese en el tema, ok, the topic. Luego mira la pregunta que estamos haciendo todos y mira la forma de responder. Eso es todo, ¿ok? Así se responde esto, así se pregunta esto. Y ahí El va. Es cuando me toca a mí primero, <ríe> que me perdí, que me dijo. Ok. Entonces, okay. pero sí, o sea, sí hemos estado participando. Eh, como le comento, hemos hablado, sí lo hemos hecho, pero no es como tan fácil como captarlo y usted es muy dinámica usted es muy dinámica para dar la clase y sí es como 
hace expresiones para que entendamos, pero sí hay, hay palabritas que quizás no logramos juntar, no sé, para saber bien la oración okay. de lo que estamos, pero vamos a aprender. Ok, ok. <risa> Voy a tomar nota de eso para ver en qué puedo ayudarles, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ok. Creo que usted nos ve la cara así como, que, ¿qué me dijo? <risa> Pero se los pregunto de varias maneras, ¿ok? Para que lleguen al punto, ¿verdad? Okay. Sí, sí, sí. Y llegan al punto, porque llegan al punto. Sí, <risa> Pero sí. sí como que nos cuesta un poquito, pero sí. Okay. Estamos aprendiendo. Ok, Dan. Bueno, is there any other question that you have that I can help you with? Creo que no, más que todo era esto, porque de la clase anterior, present, y, y eso lo habíamos visto anteriormente y logré hacer mi tarea también. Y de esta vi que es la tarea que tenemos ahorita. Entonces quería que me quedara un poquito más claro. Ok. Era eso. Si no, oh, okay. puedo resolver mañana. Pregunta. <laughs> okay, no problem. I'm open 24-7 here, okay? 24-7. You can send me the question and I will answer, okay? So okay. no problem, Thank no you. problem. You can make any question that you have, any help that you need, tell me. Let me know, okay? Let me know. Um, okay, then let's meet us tomorrow and have a good night. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye.